D Lo. <laughs> you said a lot of shit about a lot of people, my boy. D Lo, where you at, man? Your right hand man. Every day. You know what this fool told me, D Lo? D Lo. <laughs> This motherfucker said you stole 120,000 from a gay. He said that's why he fired you, because you stole $120,000 from him. To my knowledge, I know he used to give you money to gamble for him, because you used to win. And the gamble is either you're going to win or you're going to lose. So d -Lo, where you at, man? Just like bait, man. It's time you niggas speak up. Stop being silent. Stop letting this man shit on y'all. He ain't above y'all. Somebody told me I stole 100000 from somebody. Hmm. Not from the receipt master. Post the receipts, Playboy. Because <laughs> I got some receipts I can post. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot. I've seen y'all bringing up CJ on 32s. I don't care about that, man. I'm the one put that man on, man. So him dissing me for clouding the video does not affect me in any way. It just doesn't. Like, come on, man. I met you. You worked at a car shop. You were changing tires for a living. I put you on. I gave you the sauce. I promoted you. I shouted you out. I let you be in my circle. I blew you up, and now you're successful. I'm happy for you. So you dissing me just makes me laugh, literally. It literally makes me laugh. When I see the comment saying, CJ032 checked you, bro. You need to apologize to him. I need to apologize to him. The freak is y'all talking about? <laughs> Whoa, y'all crazy. Y'all tripping. I know it's been a minute, but y'all for... Yeah, I'm bullshitting y'all. I ain't about to get into that, man. I ain't fool with buddy and over a year. <sighs> Plus, I'm trying to start a music and game with China. You feel me? Straight positive energy. I just wish I knew I stole $100,000 a year, though. Maybe I would have paid the call that never got paid off. Huh. You a weirdo. Like, you lame, bro. You a lame. It's true, you a lame, bro. You, you can't think. You got a fucking bird brain, bro. You dumb as hell. You don't... It's like you can't even think for yourself, bro. You just go on the internet and you just say shit. I, I don't know if... You can't use me to revive your career. Nigga, you got talent. Just use your talent. You don't got to talk about nobody. Nobody never took that from you. Nobody never talked bad about you. But you weird as hell, bro. You just keep saying shit. You keep sending, like, little snake shots, nigga. Stop playing... Hey, stop playing with me. The nigga fucked all his money up. You took out that loan on your YouTube channel, and you didn't listen to me. This man made almost 500k the month before he took that loan out. He called me. We talked. I'm happy for him. He telling me I motivated him because I wasn't missing days and I was uploading, and he was going crazy. I think that's when they moved in. I never got a chance to go there when they moved to the the bigger mansion. I think after So Cool Land, this man made more than almost 500 thousand on YouTube, right? Why the fuck would you take out a million dollar loan to like this? Like all the time, y'all know everybody else came around. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna bring up no other name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna put them. In some shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro ain't never said nothing on me, so I ain't even gonna bring his name up in the video. But y'all know. So it's like, if you can make, I told him, I said, bro, why would you take this loan out on your channel? I think he did it twice. Why would you take this loan out on your channel if you could pay it back? I mean, not even pay it back. I'm stripping. If why would you take this loan out on your channel if you make him give him your five hundred thousand on YouTube last month, like right now? All you gotta do is grind another month, and that's a million dollars right there. Why get this advance to fuck your channel up? Knowing just to have his money to blow, knowing that's gonna unmotivate you. Yeah, I'll motivate you. That's what I said. I'll motivate you because, look, I got friends who took that crazy 360 deal. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Marty Mark took the deal. Other people in our circle had that deal going on because they learned it from somebody else. I ain't take that shit. I don't need that shit. But long story short, he took a deal out, bro. And now I think with them, they're getting like 30% of their YouTube checks. So once you get that big lump sum and you spend your money, who the fuck want to work on YouTube and make 300000 but you paying it back and now you're only getting 30% of that 300000 So you ain't taking home really shit, but like 30000 I don't know. I ain't trying to really do the math. But I'm just saying, though. So all the shit that's going on in your life, bro, you put yourself in them situations. Stop pointing the finger, nigga. Stop playing the side stories. Y'all know what this man told me? 32 Game Clubhouse, man. All these cars in here. I got to thank my brother, CJ. So cool, man. I'm going to praise you. And thank you so much, bro, for helping me get everything in here. I love you, man. Thank you so much, bro. Couldn't have done it without you, bro. You're the best. Everybody deserve a friend like you. Thank you, bro. I don't know where I would be without you. Where would the world be without you? It'll be a messed up place. I'm, I'm, I'm dedicating this video to you. I'm gonna give you all your praise and thank you for making me, bro. Damn, Pops, you didn't even make me, Pops. It's all about you, man. That's what you like, right? Thank you so much. Damn. Thank you. Hold on. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. You helped me get this right here. You helped me get that McLaren right there. Oh, thank you so much for this twin turbo track hawk you helped me get, bro. I appreciate you so, 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 so much, man. Matter of fact, let me start it up. I'm going to let you hear how it sounds since you ain't never been to the clubhouse. You had one of these, didn't you? I think you did. 
Thank you so much, brother. You help me get this. I think you built them too. Thank you so much, brother. You help me get this. So get this T, y'all CJ so cool allegedly went and told CJ on 30 to seconds that his best friend D'Lo, you know, his day one, stole over $100,000 from him. I'm talking real betrayal vibes here. And what did CJ do? He had to cut him off, just like that. Like, dang, it's always something with CJ, right? First, it's family, now it's his right-hand man. Either D'Lo's out here wildin', or CJ's paranoid, thinking everybody's after his money. Either way, this is getting messy. Who's gonna be left standing next to him at this point?